Hey Geminis, this is going to be a bonus reading for you guys for the holidays. I figured I'd do something special. This is going to be short, different, using different cards. The lovely Vice Versa Tarot. It's absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. Um, keep in mind these are general. They're definitely not going to resonate with everyone. But we have the lovely Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle cards to kind of get an overview of what's going on here. So you've got the High Priestess of Air. This is clearly you guys, Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with another Air sign. But this is just showing you, you know, you have, you know, the ability. You're, you know, you're intellectual. You speak very clearly. You speak about what it is that you want. You, you know, you tell the truth. Okay? Knowing what it is that you want. We also have the High Priestess of Water. So this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you're dealing with. Or this is just letting you know that, you know, just to go with the, go with the flow. Kind of, you know, knowing what you want. But also to kind of go with the flow here. And to clarify that, you guys may be got meditation so this may be taking a time out to decide what it is that you want to do because we've got choices here making sure that you're making the right decision so it's kind of like do I use my you know logical rational thinking or do I think with you know my watery emotional heart like what is it that I truly want right now so this is going to be from now until the end of december so what's crowning your reading the overall energy very well could be a taurus virgo capricorn this also could be a friend or you know this could be you guys focusing on your money okay someone very stable businessman businesswoman somebody who's very grounded they can be stubborn at times but they're very good with their money. So it's almost like someone may be losing hope and faith in a money situation here or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a friend that you had, um, you know, a money deal with or something. Somebody may be losing hope and faith in this. I've also got Aquarius here as well. But it's like somebody's still, you know, still waiting for somebody to appear. If you can see like this ghostly figure right here. Somebody's still waiting, still holding on here. Could be an Aquarius, doesn't have to be. And then we've got this lovely fire sign right in the middle. Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Sun, moon, or rising. You could be dealing with somebody like this. Or you guys are taking on this energy, you know, wanting to create something new. Really could be money related here. You know, going into business with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Or wanting to be creative and, you know, you know, uh, doing like business deals with people with money. Either that or, you know... Somebody's losing hope and faith in a possible Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising regarding money, money issues. Or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But we've got, in the end, some major betrayal here. Somebody stabbing someone right in the back. Um, so we are going to clarify the shit out of this for you guys. So let's see, Gemini from now until December 31st in love. Let's see why the star is reversed for Gemini. You could be waiting on an Aries Leo Sagittarius or something to do with money. They may need to like pay you back and it just doesn't happen. And somebody gets stabbed in the back here. Definitely could be a money situation or it could be involving a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Is what I'm see or an Aquarius. Let's so let's see. Why is the star reverse for Gemini? Yeah, you guys are waiting on news. Waiting on good news. 
maybe kind of losing the hope and faith, but waiting, waiting, waiting on that good news coming your way, possibly from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be sun, moon, or rising. Definitely could be, yeah, I definitely think it's regarding money, guys, regarding money. Oh, no. All right, so let's see why this um, King of Wands is here. Could be Aries, Zeo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Why is this King of Wands here for Gemini from now until December 31st? Oh, yeah, shit is coming to light either about this person or you are bringing things to light or, you know, something's going to come crumbling down with whoever this is. This could be, like, a boss. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. Yeah, something is incomplete here with a money situation or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Definitely feeling like it's money and shit is gonna be blown. Like, it's gonna be out of the blue either for this Aries Leo Sagittarius or it could be for any sign on the table here. But somebody's got waiting on news that's probably gonna rock this this fire signs world it could be a Sagittarius but somebody's you know having patience and waiting waiting for something here seeing cancer as well so let's see this could be a Scorpio too you know wanting to this it could be a Scorpio coming off as you know charming enthusiastic but it's ending up in you know major betrayal here major betrayal like this is a huge shock huge shock um so let's see let's check out the tower why is the tower here for gemini's from now until december 31st could be just money you know money troubles that you guys are going through yeah, see, someone may give someone here a second chance or revive the past with someone after things come crashing down. It's like something needs to be brought to light. Yeah, we've got somebody walking away. Whoever there's blocked communication with or a delay in communication with, they're walking away. Definitely think this, this Aries Leo Sagittarius is going to be walking away. And then we've got judgment here. So somebody wants a second chance. Why is judgment here for Gemini's from now until December 31st? Yeah, somebody's going to be moving on from something that is not stable anymore. And again, we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be doing some deceitful behavior here. It could be, you know, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn with fire in their chart. Or it could definitely be over money here. Definitely over money. Or you've just got two people that you're interested in. This person could be moving very slow. Very slowly. You know, over -analy or over analyzing things. You know, trying to put things in pers into perspective. But it looks like this part, this Aries Leo Sagittarius... Or possibly Scorpio may not be coming back, or you may be moving away from them. So let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. Major, major betrayal. Major betrayal. It's going to be a huge shock. We've got the Tower. So why is the Ten of Swords here for Geminis from now until December 31st? Very well could be a Sagittarius that stabs you guys in the back, or vice versa here. But Sagittarius is, you know, waiting. Maybe waiting on this, you know, to get revenge on somebody, or this fire sign is trying to get revenge on you. Or it could be a Cancer here as well. How, guys? Holy shit. Okay, Temperance. Why is Temperance here? For Gemini's. Yep. 
Yeah. Somebody's going to be done with somebody here. Somebody's going to be very stressed out, carrying a lot of burdens. 10, 10. Somebody's going to be done with this fire sign or done with another. Yeah, see, somebody's going to manipulate a situation here. Manipulate a situation. I definitely think it's involving money. It's not going to be fair. The outcome is not going to be fair, not going to be balanced. Something unjust is going to happen. Um, there could be manipulation. Something unjust could be done to a fire sign or you guys or something within money, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've also got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Manipulating. So if you're involved with another air sign or an Aries, there's manipulation here for sure. For sure. And shit is going to come crashing down, guys. But I do see someone, you know, regaining their emotional balance, you know, balancing their thoughts and their emotions here, which explains why, you know, the thought card is here with the water card, you know, balancing those thoughts and emotions so you're able to make the correct choice, but be very careful. This choice card speaks of light and dark, balancing the light and dark equally you know, making sure you're making the correct decision here. Or somebody is cutting out a manipulator here. And somebody is going to be... Oh, Lord. Yeah, somebody is lying, guys, and it's going to cause some betrayal. Definitely picking up Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But somebody is waiting on, on some news. Somebody is waiting on some news. God, you you guys' readings are always crazy for me. So let's see why... Let's go to the after tarot and see why the knight or uh, the king of pentacles. Definitely feel like it's a money situation here. Or there's two people involved. Gemini from now until December 31st. Why is this King of Pentacles the overall energy for Gemini from now until December 31st? Why is the King of Pentacles the overall energy for Gemini's? Uh, it's somebody that, you know, wants to come out of conflict or you'll be coming out of conflict with this person. Definitely somebody that, yeah, see, it could be Taurus with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. Coming out of conflict with someone, but yeah, definitely could be this air, um, fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely think it's regarding money. Regarding money, there may be a second chance given, but it's like somebody's going to be moving away. It could be Scorpio or an Aries Leo Sagittarius is moving away. But there's definitely some manipulation in the outcome. Somebody's, you know, backstabbed, betrayed, stressed out here. Stressed out. So let's see why. And I'm seeing Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So let's see why the Queen of Swords and the Magician is reversed. Why is the Queen of Swords and the Magician reversed for Gemini's from now until December 31st? Yeah, it's like, Again, Aries Leo Sagittarius, somebody is going to feel regret and remorse over something they have done wrong here. Oh, Lord. It's almost like you guys are going to be, like, exposing, probably exposing something. It's like you guys are waiting on that message or you're delivering that message. So let's see why the Page of Wands is here what that message may be about. <clears throat> Why is the Page of Wands here for Gemini from now until December 31st? Why is the Page of Wands here? Yeah. 
Yep. There is going to be an ending. Someone's just waiting. Waiting for an ending here. Or they could be waiting on a message from a Scorpio here as well. Yeah, there's a Scorpio or, you know, somebody's trying to communicate because they want to build with you. And they're losing hope and faith. Or, you know, this message is regarding, you know, somebody's hoping on a message that, you know, something will end. Could be a Scorpio or Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is insane, guys. So let's see why judgment is here. Actually, I'm going to take the judgment away because second chances, somebody's moving away. There's definitely, like, two people involved here. So, let's see. Why is the tower here? With the King of Wands for Gemini. From now until the December 31st. Definitely Taurus energy, guys. Or like somebody is not gonna... Like somebody wants a higher level of commitment here. It could be a Scorpio that's coming off. You know, it could be a Scorpio with... Aries Leo Sagittarius in their chart, but the ending is not looking good, guys. Somebody's, like, stabbing someone in the back here. But this Aries Leo Sagittarius is going to be pretty upset because somebody's being manipulative. Damn. This higher level of commitment could come crashing down with an Aries Leo Sagittarius or a Taurus. Or Scorpio. But there is betrayal here, guys. Holy shit. So let's see why Judgment is here. See who... Why is Judgment here for Geminis from now until December 31st? Someone may want a second chance, or you may want a second chance with somebody else. Why is Judgment here for Geminis? Yeah, there's definitely a third party here, guys definitely a third party and someone may end it someone may want a second chance but you know there's a third party here so somebody's not gonna and somebody's not communicating right now or somebody won't be communicating about it that's why there's gonna be a betrayal here guys there are three people involved oh good lord Gemini's, your readings are always crazy for me, but you got a Scorpio waiting on you. You got a Scorpio waiting on you for sure. And it's like, they ain't, like, it, this is the vice versa tarot, so it's pretty positive, but they're, you know, they're still waiting. They're still clinging to that hope and faith. She'll be there. Alright, so let's see. Oops, mixing up my cards, guys. Holy shit, you've got my mind like, whoo! Alright, so we've got the Magdalene Oracle cards. They're absolutely gorgeous. Let me just give you some, some type of positive guidance, but it looks like this higher level of commitment is going to blow someone away here. Something's going to happen out of the blue, but somebody may come back and want, want a higher level of commitment. Be a Taurus or Scorpio. Let's see. But it could be any sign, guys. Sun, moon, or rising. What does Gemini need to know from now until the 31st in love? So make sure you make the right decision, guys. This is definitely what these cards are warning you about, you know, making that right decision. Make sure you're, you know, balancing your thoughts and your emotions correctly, taking that time out to figure out what it is you really want. So we've got the matrix, we've got confusion, and we've got perception. I always take the one on the bottom. So let's read these babies. So let's do perception first. So we've got beware. Someone you are attracted to has a tendency to use other, others to fill their own void. 
To some extent, this is true of most relationships. However, in this particular case, the void wanting to be filled is in instead of not 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 going to happen. I can't pronounce that word. Nothing you say or do will ever be enough. So tread carefully. Don't allow yourself to be drawn into other people's problems. All is not the way it is presented. Use your intuition and trust your natural instincts. In spite of its problems, a valuable lesson will be derived from this relationship as you realize that we are each responsible for our own well-being. Taking on another's emotional baggage is of no help to anyone, so remain emotionally detached and use your sixth sense. Wow, guys. All right, so then we have the matrix. Let's see if we can find this sucker. All right. The matrix. Trying to figure out why certain things happen is like attempting to piece together a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle while only having a few pieces of the puzzle in your possession. You cannot fully understand the present situation using the logic of your infinite mind. Just know that a bigger picture exists, even though it is not possible for you to see it at this time. Trust for all that is happening is an act of love. Ultimately, you will discover the blessing. Have patience. You will look back on this period of your life and be thankful for all that is occurring now. Wow, guys. And then we have confusion. Last one. Confusion. It says, conflicting thoughts regarding a major decision are causing you to feel confused. You may be feeling as if you don't know which way to turn at the moment. You feel unable to choose between that which you truly would love and that which you think you must do. At the heart of this issue lies a deep-seated sense of obligation to others. You are afraid that you might disappoint or hurt another by choosing what you love. The best course of action for you at this time is to take a few steps back. Don't place extra pressure on yourself by thinking that you must decide right now. Give yourself time. If possible, take a short break away from it all. Bring some peace and quiet into your life, and over the coming days, things will be clearer. Your primary obligation is to honor what you truly feel in your heart. Others will understand in time. And that's exactly what these cards are saying. Definitely using your thoughts and balancing your emotions to make taking a time out to make the correct decision that you want guys it'll all work out you'll be good i hope this helped gemini and i hope you have a fantastic holiday i will see you guys in january